are dungeon tiles. They're used for creating modular battle maps in Dungeons and Dragons. They measure five inches on each side, and they're made up of two acrylic plates. One is blank, and what the other one has a one-inch grid on them. They're held together with these strong neodymium magnets, and you can use them to create whatever dungeons that you'd like, either with a dry erase marker or by inserting a piece of paper on the inside. And you can arrange them accordingly however you'd like. When game night is over, they have this beautiful display stand that they sit in, and the backside has my logo on it, and in the front says dungeon tiles, but you can have that inlay customized with whatever button you like on there. I'm going to be rolling out many new items in my shop this February to make a Dungeon Master's life a little bit more easy. For example, these are little character tokens that you can fit your own artwork inside of, and these are flight stands that you can use for your flying characters out on the battlefield. And Pro tip, best place to hide money? Now the only people who can steal from you are people with taste. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't My first conversation with a scammer. Hello, I ordered fairy ears from you last week. They still didn't arrive. 
Hello, dear. Can I have your name or order number? Gives name. I'm sorry, love, but there is no order with your name. Okay, but I want a refund and free yours, the gives address. I can't give you a refund or free yours. You didn't even order anything, dear. I don't care. I want it now, or I post on social media that your shop is bad and that you scam customers. I mean, I have the chat right here showing that you want to scam me, blocks me. Etsy strike. You've probably heard that tens of thousands of Etsy sellers went on strike this past week to try to get Etsy to pay attention to them. And while I don't sell on Etsy anymore, I feel like I still have something to add to this conversation. Because Etsy caused me a lot of problems last year. When I went viral last year, I received about 600 orders in like two days, which was unheard of for me, but I fulfilled them all within my one to three business day processing time. Etsy, however, decided that that was too many for me, even though I fulfilled them in my processing time. And they shut down my shop without telling me and then messaged all of my customers telling them that I'm on break and I cannot help them with their customer service questions. So frustrating. On top of that, I looked back over my finances and found out that Etsy had taken about $4,000 from me in fees in one month. That was just unacceptable for me, so I started my own website. And now I'm hearing that they've raised their fees. Gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah.